Welcome everyone on this tutorial on how to send a Power BI report in an email using Power Automate. Okay, before we proceed, we need uh, these specific uh, you know, prerequisites met. Uh, we need to have a premium capacity license. If you have a pro license or premium per user license, it might not work for you. Also, you need to make sure that your admin enables the export report as an image file option in the admin center. Otherwise, it will start throwing uh, error. So let's just look at the automation process map. What we're going to do, we are going to first of all create a scheduled flow in Power Automate. After that, we will be exporting the Power BI report as an image. Uh, then we will save that image to OneDrive. Uh, the reason I'm saving that to OneDrive is because uh, the uh, export feature uh, in the Power BI export to file feature doesn't uh, save it in any particular file format. Even though you're exporting it in PNG, it saves it without the PNG extension. So we need to manually uh, specify that. After that, we'll retrieve that file from OneDrive and then we'll convert it into uh, base64 encoded format. Uh, once that's done, we will uh, put it into an HTML image tag and then embed that to our email body. Okay, let's quickly uh, check out. Uh, before we proceed now, let us uh, let me just quickly show you the report that I'm going to be using. Uh, I have a one-pager report which is basically formatted to fit in the uh, email. You can also format uh, accordingly as per your requirement. Okay, so let's proceed with the scheduled cloud flow. I'm going to name it as weekly gp report okay and let me just do it once a week every monday cool i have my recurrence created now let me add an action which is to export power bi uh, report to a file right mr steve one let me specify the workspace now so it's under my workspace and the report name that i showed you earlier is the email test report uh the export option i want it in png uh, now since i have a single page report i don't need to specify the page name but if you do have a report with multiple pages and you only need a particular page do specify the page name the page name is basically the uh you know, end of the URL string, whichever page you want, go to that specific page, copy the end of your URL and paste it under page name. Okay. Let me go ahead and remove that since I don't need it. Okay, so this step basically little here, it exports the file, uh, you know, the Power BI report as PNG. Now I'll be adding another step that is to create file in OneDrive, as I told you, that you know, it doesn't specify the file format, even though we are exporting it in PNG. So what I'll be doing here is I'll be specifying that. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, select the folder where I want it saved. There's the folder and name it image ppi.png. Okay. The file content is just the output of the earlier action. Okay, I have created the file now, so I'm just going to save it and test it and see if our actions are working properly. Run flow, then so it might take some time. Let me just fast forward that for you guys. Cool. So we have our file created. Now let's quickly check uh, whether that was successful by adding next action, which would be to get file from the OneDrive. Okay. Get file content. 
and I'm going to select that specific folder where we created the file. And there it is, our file is ready. I'm just going to pull that. Don't need to do anything else. Let's close this. Okay. <clears throat> so now we got the file, uh, you know, with the format. I'm going to compose that, put it under compose so that I can convert it into a 64 bit encode, you know, uh, format. To do that, I'm going to quickly uh, use the function data URI. Basically, whatever I said, it does that. It converts the image file into six B64 format. Okay, so what would be the uh, value there? It's basically the output of the get file content, the previous action. Let me close that. Once it's done, let's add another step, which would be to initialize variable. In this step, we are going to, let me just name it first. Okay, uh, the type will be string. So what we are going to do in this step is to uh, create an HTML image tag. Basically, we are going to put the uh, compose output, the 64-bit encoded into an image source so that it converts it into an image and embeds it inside the email. Okay, so let's write that. And for that, uh, I'm not sure whether you guys are aware of the HTML. So basically, for any, uh, you know, putting any image into HTML tag, we need the image source tag. And this is the format, basically. So image source, the value is in double quotes. And then we have the alternate uh, in case there is no reply or uh, no return or no value found for the image tag, right? So let's close this. So this is the HTML uh, code for the image source. Now what we need to do is we need to supply the value from the previous step inside the double quote. And we cannot do that directly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to concatenate it as strings, the entire thing. Okay, So concatenate concat function and the first string will be the image source till the opening of double quotes okay this is my first string the next string will be the output of the compose okay output add it now the third string will be so inside the concat the strings are enclosed inside single quotes so single quote and the third string is basically till over here okay I'm just close this and close the bracket of concat okay so this basically gives us one entire string image source equal to whatever the value is uh, generated in the compose step and then closing the image tag over here let's add this over there Okay, so final step, that is to send it out in an email. So send email v2, that's what we're going to use. And I'm just going to use my email address. Uh, let's say weekly GP report as the subject. And then in the email body, let's put the image tag that we created okay that's all this is the entire step from export till the uh, sending it out in an email let's save this okay and save let's test it out
run slow then again uh, it might take some time in the second step so let me just fast forward that okay so the flow ran successfully now let me just quickly check if i got any email i'm just going to show you how it looks see yep yep so this is how the email will look with the power bi report embedded cool right well that's all for today guys and thank you for sticking this long see you next time also please do like share and subscribe the video thank you everyone